is quite the opposite. Do you know He's here Taylor to lift Swift? you up. Oh, yeah, a good a dear friend of mine. <laughs> <laughs> you guys hang out on the weekends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why, yeah. Do, you, why do you laugh when I say that? We don't. We don't. You, don't, you, don't th Look, you, you think it's a funny idea? You think it's so preposterous no, that I, I, don't. I could hang out with her? I mean, no, not no. after this whole Heidi Klum thing. Yeah, yeah Taylor yeah, Williamson totally got here. <laughs> Well-known comedian, runner-up on America's Got Talent, and apparently you were like, Heidi Klum's all-time favorite yeah. contestant. Right. So if you can hang with Heidi Klum, you can probably hang with Taylor Swift, right? Exactly. Thank you very much for respecting me now, finally. <laughs> You're welcome. All this time. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, we, we got to break you down, then build you up. That's I, what we do here. I, I like it. It's fine. It's, um, it's emotional torture. It but uh, It's good coaching. <laughs> I have, like, Stockholm Syndrome for you guys now. So not only did you come in second runner-up, when they did the anniversary special, you were named one of their favorite acts. I mean, and, and the thing is, is when, you know, we're, when we're talking about America's Got Talent, you're going to go up against people with all kinds of different talents. I mean, listen, I'm the, literally the second most talented person in America. Literally. Literally. <laughs> like, I'm not even bragging. Like, it sounds so obnoxious to say that. Like, what a jerk who would say such a thing, but I'm just sharing facts with you, you know? <laughs> Facts are facts, right? Facts yeah, I mean, are they facts. are. It is what it is. And, um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that show changed my life. Like, I was doing comedy for 10 years and nobody cared. And then um, I auditioned for that show, which is only, you only do if you're crazy. Uh, yeah, that's true. You have to be insane to go up in front of all these people and then these, like, famous people and just risk being told, uh, you stink, get out of here, you know? And, uh, but thank God I'm so talented, you Thank know? God. <laughs> so talented. But I, I, it's funny, because, like, I go up against these people who are, like, genuinely, like, unbelievable what they do, and I just go up there and I just, like, say horrible things that I got, like, sent out of class for, and then people are like, you're great. I'm like, really? I just said... <laughs> can you give us an example that's, What's your that's all -time appropriate favorite? for uh, TV? What, can I say a joke I can't say on TV? Wouldn't that be fun? Know. Yeah. We could, like, bit. go viral. Until they got fined. <laughs> Who would get fined? Would I get fined? No, not, no. Yes, no, well, yes you will. Oh, he would get yes, fined? I personally? Yes. How much, how much would it cost if I... I would only have to pay $1,000 if I said something You're horrible. You're like, why are you encouraging him? I feel like it would be good for my <laughs> career. Producer. Exactly. In the really... background, why does she like That's encouraging you? That's a good PR you? for 1000 bucks. So, uh, no, for real. So I pay $1,000, I can say... She's, she you don't even know. know. She doesn't know. All right. We might have to be off the air for a month. What, what are the words I can't say? Well, you know uh, this. We you were, you were on that show, so you already know. All right. Well, so I'm going to... Oh, I'm sorry. Right. Okay. Listen. <laughs> you know what? You're going to have to go to the show tonight. If Listen, you if you want to hear... I don't know. What's the joke? I don't know. Um, what... Um, why, why, what... What... Uh, what... What... <laughs> Is it too early for you? <laughs> you guys... No, here's a joke. Um, what do you get when you cross an elephant and a rhino? LFINO. You guys. I think the FCC is going to let us buy on that one. I saw that joke on Growing Pains in 1987. <laughs> right. And I stole it. I stole it from Kirk Cameron. I'm sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, the second most talented person in the United States. What a great country we live in. And I get, you beat the person that like changed the outfits while they were dancing and everything else. I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> Right. Oh Taylor's performing at the Comedy Zone in Mandarin tonight and tomorrow. We, you can still get tickets, and we're going to have a link on news4jacks.com. you got to go see them. Can you believe after jokes like that, it's not sold out yet? It will be. <laughs> you promise? <laughs> yes. You swear to thank God? You. Sure. Thank, thank you.